Hey, welcome to video 18-4a, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to calculate uh, the volume of a sphere in certain problems. So in example one here, we have a word problem that talks about a uh, spherical helium-filled balloon that tourists are taking a ride in, and it says they allow up to 28 passengers at a time to ride in a gondola suspended underneath the balloon as it cruises at an altitude of 500 feet. How much helium to the nearest hundred gallons does the balloon hold? So we're rounding it to the nearest tenth, and then we're going to, of course, use another conversion factor like we have in several of these problems. That one gallon is approximately 0.1337 feet cubed. So first, let's find the volume in feet cubed. Um, the other thing that's important to know in these word problems is sometimes it's good to filter out all the information that you don't need and be an active reader. So 28 passengers at a time is an important piece of information to have, but not as we're calculating the volume, only if we're trying to figure out whether it's going to lift off or not. Um, so then the next thing that we need is, or that we don't need, is the cruising altitude, also not important as far as calculating the volume. So the information that we actually need in this problem is in the conversion factor, and then in the um, number that we're given in the diagram. And again, since that's centered right um, across the middle there, that's going to be my diameter. So we're going to need to split that in half to get our radius and do our calculations. The volume formula is at the top here. Its volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now the important thing here is that the pi r cubed is a new part of a volume formula. We haven't seen an r cubed before. Um, we've only seen r squared, but if you think about why that is, it's because in previous formulas we've had a flat surface that was a circle. In a sphere we don't have any flat surfaces, we're just looking for basically a three-dimensional um, circle, so that's why the three for the r um, exponent. So let's find that radius of the balloon by just taking half of 72, and that's 36, and then that's really all we need, you guys. We're just going to plug it in and let our calculator do the work. 4 thirds pi times 36, oops, sorry, 36 cubed is going to be approximately 195,432.196 cubic feet. So we're going to take that number. And we're going to multiply that by the conversion factor. And we, of course, want feet cubed to cancel out. So we're going to put the feet cubed portion of the conversion into the denominator. So that actually means we're dividing by 0.1337. And so we can expect this number to get even bigger. And it does. And then, of course, we're going to round to the nearest 100 gallons, as it says. So that is going to be 1,462,000 gallons. So I can't get that 4 to write for some reason. There you go. Um, so that would be important if I were the one filling up the balloon to make sure that I had enough fuel here to lift it off the ground. Um, so in the your turn, further down this page here, we are going to um, be calculating how much water a tank that is spherical, a water tank, can hold instead of the how much um, helium is in the balloon. Um, but this is the same idea. So we first need to figure out what is the radius and then go through the same type of calculations. So see what you can do with 3 and 4, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.